Hello and welcome to another website analysis by Rockstar Website Design at rockstarwebsitedesign.com. I'm your host Steve Pedersen and today we are looking at dianabertoldo.com. Hello Diana and thank you for sharing your website with us. Now when I take a look at a website I break it down into four priority categories and those categories are number one critical number two, urgent, number three, important or necessary, and lastly, number four, just improvement. Does it need an improvement? So let's take a look here at Diana's website. Right off the bat, we have the critical stuff taken care of. Critical is just, do you have a website? <laughs> yes, she has a website. And do you have a way to build a list on every page of your website? Yes, she does. So the critical things, there's nothing critical that needs to be taken care of with her website. Let's take a look at some of the more urgent things, or just the website in general. We've got, uh, starting out with the branding. Obviously very clear branding, which is great. One of the things that goes along with the branding, of course, is the website URL. Her URL is dianabertoldo.com and that matches her branding exactly and a lot of times that gets overlooked uh, in this case uh, it's not a problem that's great um, is this site mobile responsive that's another urgent thing we always take a look at as you can see here this is what her website looks like on a, a mobile device on my iPhone and it is um, it's working, it's set up. It is mobile responsive, which is good. There's a little bit of stuff going on here as far as the sort of the bleed. Um, some of the things are going over the edge. I can kind of squish that down if I need to, which is fine. Um, takes care of the problem. And uh, so that's it. It works great on a mobile device, mobile responsive. That's, uh, that's super. Um, do you have sensible and uh, easy to use navigation? What I really, really like about this navigation is that it's very clear. It's not obscured uh, by the background. There's a nice, there's nice white blocks around the navigation, so you can see it very clearly. Uh, the The words are short and they make sense, uh, so it's real easy to use. So uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the more subtle things about the navigation in a little bit. But for the main, for the most part, uh, the urgent stuff is taken care of. We've got a really great and easy to use navigation. Uh, now, the next thing is, do you have a valuable incentive for building your email list? And yes, you, uh, you give away an, an instant uh, free access to your free special report and an MP3. So you don't get just one thing, you get two things, which is fantastic, great incentive. Um, is your branding serving you? Um, we talked a little bit about branding and I'm gonna go into a little bit of a, a, a subtle thing here in just a minute. Uh, I think the logo is awesome. I love the logo. There's sort of this chaos, uh, but right in the middle is this rock star. And I think that just so excellently says what her brand is all about. So fantastic. And even the colors go well together, the purple and the, this is almost like a reddish, orangish color. So uh, great color scheme with it. Um, super fantastic. Um, do you have a call to action on every page? Yeah, you have this, uh, you know, sign up for the email list on every page. Uh, we'll go into that a little bit more in just a second. Um, and then just lastly, is the, the question easy to answer? If somebody comes to the site, why did I come to this site? Why, what am I going to get out of this experience? And as we go through this, uh, I'm sure you'll find the answer is yes. So a lot of the urgent things are taken care of as well. Uh, so now what I'm going to do, instead of diving into all of the important and necessary uh, sub points, I'm just going to kind of, we're, we're going to look at each page of the website and a, a few different, we're going to go into a few different details about each of the pages. Now what we're looking at here is the home page. And one thing that I like is it starts out 
Uh, well, first of all, let me say this. There's this picture, this very grabbing picture of you, which is fantastic. Very consistent with your branding. Um, so, and a great smile. So it's great that you have a picture because this is now, you know, the website is about Diana Bertoldo. So we should know, we should be given some kind of information about Diana Bertoldo. And this picture makes it look like, yeah, very pleasant person that I would uh, find easy to approach. So nice job there. Uh, if you're anything like me, then you are, and this is a great lead in to this conversation. If, you're, if you start out your website by saying, welcome to my website, uh, you've lost people. I mean, that's a rookie mistake. Um, if you're doing that on your website, change it. <laughs> but I like this lead in. Uh, so you're you're making it very personable if you so right it's not you're not talking about yourself right away you're talking about your website visitor are you anything like me yeah if you are then uh, blah 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 now here's the first little nitpicky thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna say about your branding so you've got this phrase right here that says you're ready to eliminate the bullshit okay now what's interesting is you do not have the asterisk right there in the word bullshit yet you have that in your branding so in your branding you've got this phrase that says get out of the shitstorm and dominate your life rock and roll style and so you have this persona that you're trying to portray that says hey I'm badass you know look out but this asterisk in here I'm not sure maybe you have a really good reason for having that in there but what it's saying to me is that hey I'm badass but only to a point like I'm not gonna cross that line of like really putting it out there and just saying shitstorm I'm going to kinda make this kinda kid friendly and put an asterisk in there well if you're gonna do that there and you're going to do it here in your um, offer then I would expect that you would do that everywhere on your website so having this word here bullshit it's like it's inconsistent with the rest of your branding so I'm not going to tell you what to do I'm just going to suggest and like I said it's a real subtle thing but it's something that um, you know you could be a little bit more consistent in because like in the next sentence you have shitstorm here and it's got the asterisk all right so I'm not gonna harp on that anymore but just a little something interesting that I noticed on the home page and about the branding um, I think what you have here on the on the home page is great it's you know very logically leads to the next thing right now what you need meet your match okay and what's great is that you've got these um, bold uh, you know sections bold fonts that really kind of chunk down the text you've got bullet points here so it's very readable which is great it's a, a lot of things that uh, or it's something that a lot of people miss out on they put a lot of text and they don't break it down and make it easy to read so nice job there it leads and it flows very nicely and then you lead them to this offer are you ready to rock uh, which is great takes them to your uh, complimentary storm eraser session page which then leads them closer and closer to building a relationship with you which is fantastic what I'm gonna say about this stuff on the right is that it's a little bit it kinda adds to make things a little bit more chaotic there's a lot going on on this page and I'm not sure what to do do I this is how like a first-time visitor to the website will think what do I do there's there's a lot of options and if I click the wrong one if I click behind what's behind door number two will I miss out on the Cadillac that's behind door number one and get a lemon so you're giving people a lot of options um, which can cause confusion what I think might possibly serve this page a little better is to take this video right here um, which is sort of an introduction to you and make maybe make this at the top like the first thing that people see because I think I watched the video and I think what's in the video is similar to what's in this text right here so if we 
uh, and it's not bad to have these things, especially the client testimonials. Um, just it's a little bit much going on. Maybe have this, like I said, have the video all the way, you know, filling the screen at the top, and then it's just a, like a logical progression. I think we're in the day and age where we can use video to introduce ourselves right up front. So use that. Make this a, a, a big, uh, obvious thing that people want to click on. They watch it. Oh, yeah. And then they read. And then, oh, yeah. Well, obviously, the next thing to do is to click this link and go to the next level, which is to interact with you. And then maybe uh, what you could do then is have these items down here actually in the footer of that page. So they're there, but they're not like grabbing for your attention right off the bat. Now what's interesting is if we look at this on the, um, on the iPhone, the f uh, because right now these are in the sidebar, what happens then in the responsive uh, layout of, on the iPhone is that that video then comes at the bottom. And I think that video would actually serve you well to be at the top. Okay, one other thing I'm going to mention, again, a real subtle thing, um, but it matters. Uh, so this would maybe be sort of on a, an improvement level. It's not really super necessary, certainly not urgent or critical but possibly an improvement is the color scheme that you got going on here. You got a, a lot of colors. Um, up at the top, you've really established this uh, uh, brand color of uh, sort of a reddish orange and purple. And then you have sort of this grayscale thing, which is fine. That works. Um, it doesn't bring too much attention to itself. I think that's nice. And then you've got sort of a bluish watery area and then some more orange. And then down at the uh, bottom here, all of a sudden we have this sort of aqua blue color and then a completely different purple color. So there's a lot of different colors going on here. Um, what I would m maybe suggest is maybe make this line orange as well and this area down here either a black or a gray or a similar color to this blue right here. I think that would give the page a uh, visual uh, overall you know more co cohesive look to it okay all right let's uh, continue before we go on page to page I want to just kind of pick out a bunch of things uh, on this on this page I want to dive a little bit deeper into the navigation now on the navigation you've got meet Diana well, obviously you've got home and then meet Diana, which is great. Hey, but I think this is a really great um, title for a link. Uh, it's very personable. Sounds sounds fantastic. What uh, when you mouse over it though, what gets a little confusing is you've got bio and then you've got our process, and I'm not and like suddenly I'm confused. I'm like I thought this was about Diana Bertoldo, but now it says our so. Is there other? Is this like a team? Does she have a team of people? And then it says our cut the BS philosophy. Again, it just kind of makes things suddenly a little bit confusing. The other thing about navigation that I want to point out is that when you have this is called a top level navigation item, and this is like a, a child or a sub menu right here. And oftentimes, what happens is when you have this, people don't know, they don't think that, hey, I can actually click on this top level navigation item. And we see when we click on it, you actually have some information there. If that is critical information, you want to include that possibly as an extra link. So maybe you have Meet Diana uh, as your main link, and then you have it again underneath, Meet Diana, and then Bio. and um, we're going to talk about these other ones in just a second. So that's something about navigation. Uh, you and me, kind of the similar thing. Uh, when you click on you and me, uh, people might not normally click on you and me. They might just go right to these other things. Complimentary session, private coaching, group coaching, all this is great, great stuff. But if you don't want them to miss this page, 
then maybe make you and me also a sublink under there. All right, great. So all I'm going to say about the navigation right now, I'm going to come back and touch on that again in a second. Uh, right now, what I want to uh, touch on is this offer that you have right here to sign up for your email list. Um, the, the wording of it is fantastic. The problem is you've got a lot of noise going on in the background and you can like barely see this. You, uh, you really have to kind of strain to see what's written there and what if there's anything, anything on your website that you want to stand out and be super obvious and be super eye-catching and grabbing, it's this headline of what you're giving away. Give me instant access to your free set special report and MP3. I mean, that should be screaming. Like, people cannot miss that. So that would be, um, I would say, almost bordering on the important and necessary um, level. Uh, definitely the improvement level. Uh, I think you'll see more opt-ins if you have this much more in your face and rock and roll style. So that's uh, what I wanted to say about that. The other thing, and this is just a matter of opinion, I think we've most people have been around the game long enough to know that if you enter your name and your email, you're going to get more than just a free special report in an MP3. You're going to be added to their marketing list, which, by the way, I will say for Diana, it, she's doing a fantastic job with that. I am on her list, and I get regular, consistent, awesome emails from her that are a pleasure to open up. So, so I don't mind, but here's the thing. If you want to get technical about it, technically, it's illegal to send people emails and uh, on a, from a newsletter on, if you don't have their permission. So I, I'm on her list, but I didn't sign up from this way. So I don't know if you have um, a, a second step in there to uh, you know get people's permission. If you do, great. That takes care of the problem. But there's nothing in this that says, hey, I'm going to add you to my newsletter or you know your information is safe with us those things would be an improvement not necessarily necessary but I think would be an improvement and would maybe help your opt-ins and also help build the trust of your tribe I think there's for me personally again it's just my opinion I know I know when I sign up to get something free people are going to start emailing me and it's just really annoying that they don't tell me up front how often I'm going to receive an email from them. So I think it's important to build, if you want to build a tribe that trusts you, to really make it obvious up front the kind of relationship, the frequency, and that kind of thing that you're going to build with people with your email. Okay, enough said on that. Let's keep moving on. So you've got, one thing I did want to point out, and this is I just wanted to point it out. This is not a deal breaker, or probably not even important, but I wanted to say that I noticed that these client testimonials down here are rotating. It just rotated right there. And I think that's great, but if unless people really stick around long enough, they're not going to see that that's rotating. Um, I don't know if that's important to you or not, but I just wanted to at least mention that. All right, let's take a look at some of the uh, other pages now. So we've got uh, meet Diana. We've got your bio, uh, which is great. Um, I, I didn't read through every detail. I'm not a bio expert, so I'm not going to comment on it. I just think it's great that you have a, a little, it's a different picture that's on the rest of your pages, which is great. Uh, you have a bio, and it's, again, broken up into chunks with bigger headlines. Fantastic. Now here, let's go to the Our Process. Now you've got our process. It says we work exclusively with high performing artists. Okay, who is this we that you're talking about? Um, are, if there's other people on your team, on your coaching team, then I think you need to have a page with them, uh, like with their a picture 
of them, a bio of each of the people that are on your coaching team. If your team consists of a VA or somebody that's handling your email or something like that, that's not a we. That's that's just somebody who's helping you out. Don't don't call yourself a we if that is your we, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because uh, this is just confusing. Like, I came to Diana Bertoldo. I want to work with Diana Bertoldo. She's a rock star. Uh, who is this we? All right? And uh, kind of the same thing with our, our Cut the BS philosophy. It says, our Cut the BS philosophy. And then it says, I believe. I believe down here. So, okay. I believe and I believe. And yet you're calling it our? So, confusing... What I would suggest, again, if there's other people, put put them in your bio or put them uh, give them give them their own bio page. Otherwise, call this page my process or my cut the BS philosophy. Okay, fantastic. Let's go on to client raves. Absolutely fantastic and wonderful that you have testimonials on your website, and it's great that you have so many of them which is fantastic. And I like that you, um, you know, the headline of each one is a little bit different color. What you might want to do, that color, uh, purple, it doesn't stand up too much from the black. So maybe make the this headline part orange as well as these lines. Um, I like that you highlight um, in, in bold lettering the uh, some of the specifics of each of their um, testimonials. Now obviously we're living in a in a day and an age where it's real easy to get video testimonials. I think it's if you can, whenever you can, get video testimonials and put those at the top. Um, and then if you can't get those, at least get pictures of uh, the people like profile pictures and they're real easy to get off of Facebook if people are willing to share those, to get those and put those uh, right next to their um, their testimonial. Uh, this this one actually is a little bit interesting because it's a picture of you, um, and so it's like, is this the person that's giving the testimony? Obviously, we know that's you, so no, it's not the case. But um, just visually, uh, this page is just that testimonial right there is just a little interesting because none of the other ones have images. This one has an image is has an image, but it's an image of you. Um, all right, enough said about that. You and me, complimentary session. Uh, I think this is the one, right, when people from the home page, they click on this link, takes them uh, to here. That's great. Um, private coaching, I actually didn't look at that. That's fantastic. Group coaching. Okay, be sure to check back here for upcoming live group events. In the meantime, stay tuned to my blog. Okay. I will say a couple things about this. Um, I like that you gave people an alternative on this page. Group coaching, be sure to click, because if you were just to say, be sure to check back here for upcoming live group events, like, why? Why should I do that? Um, it's your job to let people know about that in your email. Uh, in the meantime, but you give them a solution. In the meantime, stay tuned to my blog and you give them a link to click to the blog which is awesome. Fantastic job on that. Media, welcome to our, okay, so again, our press room. Um, unless you got somebody in your pocket, make it my press room. Um, the other thing about media is, uh, obviously you've probably thought about this, but you need a media kit. You don't, there's nothing that people can download here as far as a one sheet or a picture. Uh, so it would be good to have a media kit that people could download from this page. Um, interesting that you have contact. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now. That's fine. All right. Then uh, resources. All right. Now this is where things get interesting. So you've got, on, on the resources link, you've got three things. But over here, you've got four things. And I know this is this is the special report opt-in. Um, it's just, it's visually, um, people connect things visually. 
So they see these three things, and then they come here, and they're like, am I in the right place? Because there's four things here, and there's three things here. So maybe separate this special report link out from the rest of them. Um, fantastic. Now, here's, I, I want to kind of harp on this one. So you've got podcast subscription. Now, right in here, you've got stay tuned again, like you had on the, what was it, the group coaching page? You've got this thing that says stay tuned for further information on how to subscribe to my brand new podcast. We are currently under development and we'll update this page soon. Okay, here's the thing nobody cares. Um, about this kind of stuff. Nobody cares when you, when you, whenever you say stay tuned, I, I want you to think about this. Think of your website as a, as a spider's nest or a spider's web, okay? And think of your website visitors as flies flying around, okay? You gotta have something that really is just irresistible to these flies or almost like a mosquito flying into a, a buzzer it's just like oh, it's gonna kill me but I'm I just can't keep away from this thing okay uh, somebody's gonna come in this like like and just blow it out like nobody people because I think people have this um, and uh, idea or this thought or this perception that people are just hovering over their website waiting for things to happen and that's not the case people have super super busy lives and they're not going to stay tuned. Um, so uh, it's not helpful to put this kind of stuff on your website. Um, what, and so that brings up a couple of things, uh, on, uh, which I'll get to in just a second. So on this page, you've got about energetics. And that's, I guess, a little bit more about what you do specifically. Um, I'm just going to mention the, the contact page last, and then I'm going to talk ab about a bunch of navigation stuff here. So you've got your contact form, uh, which is which is great. All right, all this stuff, fantastic. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring your attention to the bottom of the page in the footer here. Okay, you've got several links down here. And one of them is the, it's called About Us. And what I will say is that, un, again, unless it is, unless you really do have somebody in your pocket, it, it, then it should be just about and not about us because there is no us, as far as I can tell um, from the rest of your website. The same thing with Contact Us. This should just be Contact. Or if, if you're going to have something else, Contact Me but not contact us because it's not an us. Now, on the about, what's interesting is about us, the about link is super, super, super important in any website. And it's usually the second link. And, and that basically is what's going on here. You've got meet Diana and the about us link are, um, I think, yeah, right, they're the exact same page which is very confusing. Um, so, because you're just, you're adding something, it, it's just confusing. Services is the same link as the you and me. So why do you have a, a link called services down here? Um, that's just, it's confusing. Now, what's interesting is the other thing that when I saw this blog, oh, she does have a blog. Like I missed it the first time under over here under resources. Like um, the first time I looked at this website, the first time I saw a blog was down here. I was like, oh, it, it's down there. Now here you've got contact um, instead of contact us. So there's just a few things that are just a little disjunct about this whole thing. Here's what I'm going to recommend about the navigation in general. Okay. As much as I love Meet Diana, I would recommend having a link that just says about. Okay? And then underneath about, then have a link that says Meet Diana. And then maybe what you can do is actually um, combine the bio with the Meet Diana uh, bit. Then, like I said, change this to my process change this to my cut the BS philosophy. And the other thing I'm going to recommend is over here on resources where you have about energetics, 
I would put this link about energetics under the about um, tab, maybe even right under our process, like my process, and then about energetics. And then what I would do is I would, for now, get rid of this podcast subscription link because you don't need that and make this link blog. Just call it blog. So then you'd have home, about, client raves, you and me, media, with your media kit, um, blog, and contact. Uh, okay, so then what I want to do is I want to take a look at the blog itself and look at a blog post. One of the things all right, one of the important things and uh, what I would actually consider an urgent thing on your website is to have social media. You do have um, the social media links on your uh, page which uh, go to your social media sites, which is great. You have consistent branding across all of those things. Uh, fantastic and your YouTube channel great super 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 okay so you've got all that what you don't have is the ability for people to share your content via their social media platforms so for example whenever you have a blog post you want to have the social media sharing buttons on top and on the bottom of the page so people can share your content very easily with other people. Okay, let's bring this uh, airplane in for a landing. There was one other thing I think I wanted to mention and that is uh, so on your home page you make use of this sidebar. You, you've got these things in the sidebar uh, but you don't make use of a sidebar on any other page in your website. Um, and I think there's an opportunity there to bring some attention to other things on your website uh, by using the sidebar. That would be one of those improvement issues, not necessary or urgent or critical. Um, cool. So I think that is uh, about all I wanted to touch on on this analysis of dianabertoldo.com. So Diana, again, thank you for uh, allowing us to take a look at your website and see how awesome it is and how many great things that you've got going on. And um, all the best of luck to you moving forward. Take care.